Hi, my name is Udwak and I am a materialistic girl. Uh. Hi. I'm very grateful for you guys coming back here to interact with me per se. Not interact with me, but like you guys coming here to view my channel. Over the past month, I've seen so much growth in my followers and people interacting with my content. It's really, really humbling because I do this for you guys. For me, mostly. For me, for me. But mostly for you guys, because I enjoy I enjoy filming for you guys. I enjoy talking, facing my camera, looking to the lenses, and talking, and then being able to reach multitudes of people all across the world. I love that. I love that shit. I live for it. Okay, down to today's topic. I have somewhere to go, but I know that if I did not film today, I will not film. I will not be able to talk about this again because this is the emotion I feel concerning this topic right now. Like, I'm, I told myself, like, if you don't film, you're not leaving the house. And so, we're here, and we finna film. I want to talk about um, materialism. Materialism in the context of relationship. If you don't know, I'm a very materialistic person. And for many years, I saw that as a flaw. Not a flaw, but like I, I thought something was wrong with me because... The only way I know how to receive love or to show love is to give people gifts. That's just who I am. I did not learn it from anyone. I did not get it from people. It's just who I am as a person. So, growing up, being who I am, as I got older and I started dating, quote unquote, dating, I noticed that a lot of men try to What's the word am I using? Some men don't like materialistic women. Pam, that's it. A lot of men don't like materialistic women. And, and it sometimes it, it makes, I mean, everybody has the capacity and the ability to want or like what they want. Definitely, that has nothing to do with me. But darling, if you want to date me, I am materialistic. If you can't deal with that, why waste your time? It's so irritating being yourself and people can see you being yourself and they know who you are and who they are are not compatible but they come to try to get to know you and then try to try and change you from who you are for whatever reason they seem fit I men and you come and see a woman she's well dressed face on fleek hair on fleek everything on fleek what do you think caused the fitness? You think she was born like that? Or do you think that um, when she sleeps at night, God comes to do everything he does for her every morning? I don't understand. Why are people in such denial of the value of money? I don't get it. Money is the key to so many things. People say money can't buy happiness. Where do you shop? <laughs> like, why I like money is because money is the key to two things I want in life freedom and independence from when i was little that's the one thing i've always wanted i want to say i've been, i've wanted independence for as long as i can remember i've wanted I've, excuse me i've wanted freedom for as long as I, I can remember and the only thing that can grant you these two things is money i mean money is not everything don't get me wrong i'm not saying money day money day money night money afternoon that's not what i'm trying to say but if you see somebody who looks good who takes care of themselves what do you think is the cost of that do you think it's like it's, it's by beans eating beans every day i don't understand though and then some guys will not come and try and want to date you and they want to date you on your tech on their terms excuse me almost terms everybody is not for everybody i'm not going to date a man who's not going to like buy me gifts take me out who's not spontaneous but my kind person i can call you and say baby let's travel you can't do that with me. Why are we here? I don't understand. Why are we here? Everyone needs to cut their coat according to their size. And I also, I hear people also say, people that, like that, the most irritating one that I've heard consistently for some time now is people saying, you cannot give yourself the life you want, but you want a man, you want a man you're dating to give it to you. Um, yeah. I don't understand. As opposed to what? I cannot give myself the life I want. True. 
I don't have the capacity to give myself the life I envision. Very true. Will I date a man who cannot also give me the life I envision? Fuck no. What do you think this is? Struggle, 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 um, struggle games or what? Like, who's, the, who's struggling the most? I don't guess. Of course I'm going to date somebody who can give me the life I want. Because I know what I want. I'm not going to kiss, as in, I don't understand. I'm supposed to want somebody who cannot, who cannot do the basic shit for me because I can't do basic shit for myself. That's not how it works, darling. You want a, you want a pretty girl who looks clean, who baths, who baths every day, who uses perfume, who wears makeup, who can dress, who you can take out in public and, and people be like, ah, oh, damn, that guy's lucky. You think it's not beans? Do you think it's beans that causes that? Do you think it's beans? Nutrition and makeup make cost money. Outfits cost money. You want someone to look good by your side, but you don't want to be the one the reason why they look good. Mm. Okay, Baba God. Oh she boss. I calm the boy. Yes, you did. You did. What's ya? I'm totally against people telling me that I cannot or women cannot want higher than their current situation because they are in their current situation. I'm not gonna be here forever. Life is in phases. You think I'm going to be broke? You think I aspire to be a woman who depends on a man? That is never going to be me. I will never depend on a man. Saying, on, a, on a man, excuse me. I will never depend on a man. But I also will not entertain a man who cannot take care of me. Simple. Look, let's make it clear. I have my money. You want to date me. You should have your money. If I decide to date you, you are going to be using your money. The fuck you think this is? I have my money, but I want you to spend your money on me. Simple. Everybody's love language is not receiving gifts. Everybody's love language is not acts of service. Everybody's love, 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 love. Everybody's love language is not affirmation. Like, you need to learn... You want to date somebody, you need to learn about the person you want to date. You cannot just wake up one day and be like, um, okay, so, I like this girl. And, no, darling, it does not work like that. It doesn't work like that. I'm not going to dumb down myself for you. I'm not going to pretend to not like what I like because of you. No, I like what I like. Whether you can afford to get this for me or not, that's not my way. That's not my way. That's none of my business. I like what I like. And I'm not going to change who I am to make you feel better. Same way I don't expect you to change who you are to make me feel happy. Cut your coat according to your size. You see somebody likes to go on private jets, likes to go on trips abroad, likes this, likes Chanel, likes this, likes that. You can't give them that life, but you want them. Can you not see that you are cursed? Are they doing you from your village? Is it from your village? We, men, men want women who can cook, women who are educated, women who can dress well. But like when women have, like when women voice out what they want, we can't, we can't, we can't have wants, we can't have up and likes and wants and dislikes, nigga. But I'm not here for that, and I never will be. I will always say it. I am a materialistic girl. If you can dig it, fine. If you cannot dig it too, fine. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm like, materialistic doesn't mean I'm a gold digger. I don't actually, I don't you go around looking for men to buy stuff for me. That's not how this works, darling. I mean, that's, that's what people don't understand. That's not how this works. I don't walk around saying, oh, um, buy me this, buy me that. No. If I'm going to emotionally invest myself in someone, I want to emotionally invest myself in a provider. Niggas are so, so, so consumed and so caught up in being men or calling themselves man or oh, I'm a man, don't call me a boy, I'm a man, da da da. Nigga, do you do what men do? Do you do what men do? Simple question, ask yourself. Look in the mirror and say, do I do what men do? I'm always want, I always want to be respected as a man, as this and as that. Do I provide? My girlfriend, my wife, and my fiance, is she okay? Is she all okay emotionally? Is she sound? Is she emotionally satisfied? Is she physically satisfied? Am I meeting her needs? Does she have to beg me for stuff before I do them? Ask yourself some damn questions, brother. Ask yourself some questions. Because it's like a lot of you just expect people to um, fall into your way of doing things or, uh, okay. For example, I, I for example I was dating um okay let me let me give you a kind of example. I was I was engaged about a year ago, a year or two ago, and I lived in Dubai with my fiance. Uh me and him spoke. Well our engagement was really quick. We met, 
we got to know each other for about two months and not even two months I, it was even less than that and then he proposed and obviously i felt like that's 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 a brave move like that is that was a brave move to me i mean i like men who know what they want that's the one thing that really really attracts me to men you know what you want and you're going to go to every length to get what you want because that's the kind of person i am so when i tried dating my when i tried dating my boyfriend we did not have a place with my ex fiance we did not have a place so i used to live in hotels and when i say hotels i don't mean like lodges i mean like five star hotels burj al arab amani like that. they know me there <laughs> they know me there because he made sure that the life i wanted for myself he he did everything in his power to give it to me and i feel like that's love if you know what your partner wants and you are capable or you have the capacity to do it for them or to give it to them and you don't give it to them do you really care about them like do you care about them because it's one thing to say you love someone and you care about them it's another thing to prove it if i cannot if all you do is talk and say things and all your words and all your actions there's a disparity between the two of them why are you here why are you here Okay guys, that is basically my rant. I feel like I've gotten everything out. Yeah. I think I've gotten most of everything I wanted to say out. And I'm happy about that. You should not have to change yourself for someone to have to love you. Simple. I don't want anyone to any man to change himself to love me. If you, if who you are is not enough, take a hint. I don't want any man, I mean, let me look, let me rephrase. I don't want anyone to feel like they are being forced to change who they are to be with me, no, or to be with a woman. If you really want something, if you really want something, you're going to go the extra mile. Women do so much emotional labor. Like, women do so much for men, like, I feel like if a woman asks you for anything, you should not have to ask her why or what she needs it for. I, that should, like if a woman asks for anything, you should, you, should, you should feel blessed that you have the opportunity to better someone. I mean, come correct or don't come at all. It's not by force. There's so many women in the world who will be very, very satisfied with bare minimum. I mean, bare minimum. Go for them. You don't have to go for the one who knows what they want. If you yourself you don't know what you want, because if you know what you want, you will do what you have to do to get who you want. But I guess not everybody can be smart, can we? <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. I don't know why this had to come right now, but it had to because. It's just been on my mind, nigga. It's been on my mind. It's been bothering me, and I had to let it out one way or the other. And thank God for YouTube, and thank God for 600 plus of you guys who I enjoy talking to, who understand my plight. Till next time. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about like, hey, <laughs> where do you freaking shop? Because I don't understand. Today's rant is just to tell you guys that materialistic women's lives matter. Period. 